slashers in history. <laughs> What is up guys, it's Slowash. Welcome back. We are gonna play some more Mobile Legends today and check out the new legend, Chucky. Yes, but before we do get into things, I do wanna say we have been streaming again on Mob Crush, guys. We've only been doing specific Mob Crush streams the past week, so if you wanna catch me streaming, look in the description below, there's gonna be a link. Go over there and follow me. It's an awesome community. It's got an awesome app that lets you access it directly on your device. So make sure to follow me and you will know when I am live streaming. All right, so let's jump right into this. We are going to play with the new legend, Chucky. So let's take a look at his new skills. His first skill is Hello Friends, provokes all nearby enemies to turn and attack Chucky and temporarily reduces all damage received. That's pretty nice. Killer Doll charges your next normal attack to deal extra damage and temporarily reduces a target's physical defense Increases movement speed for a short duration. Want to play? Gains a chance to instantly strike when using normal attacks and receive damage from normal attacks. Okay. In your face, deals magic damage to a single target and reduces their movement speed. Performs a killing blow if target's HP is below a certain value. Killing blow instantly refreshes the skill. Now that is the most interesting one about it. This is going to be fun, so let's jump right into it. All right, here we go. Chucky, first time, well, not really first time. I did one match before with him, but let's see. This is going to provoke enemies nearby and reduce damage taken by 40% or increase movement speed and next normal attack. So let's take this to begin with. So possibly we could stand in here and take some of this damage and take this buff from Raven and get a kill. Nice. All right. That's the speed movement. All right, that's not too, too bad. That's gonna be helpful for either chasing somebody down or getting away from someone. Uh, respawn timer is not too bad on it. Let's go ahead and pick up this and let's move down. Uh, we're gonna take bottom lane. They seem to be sticking top and we've already got enough for the first piece. Let's look at this recommended build. Demon shield, crystal boots. Phoenix Blades, Mirror Shield, Guardian Glove, Royal Crown. And you also have the choice of Abyss Helm, Life Dew, Anti-Magic Cloak, and Demon Axe. So the recommended build is more of a sustained build for him. It's nothing really damage intensive. So it's going to be interesting. He's going to be, I guess, more of a interrupt and overall attack. That way you can basically engage with him, especially if you go with the... Uh, we're doing some pretty decent damage early game already. So let's teleport up. Oh, he's going to get away from me. I got shrunk there. There's two more saved him. But we do have an ultimate now. So let's go back down here. We got Jonic chasing. So we're going to set him up, see if he wants to come bush. He doesn't. So let's see if we can't sneak up on him. Oh, this is going to be close. If I had to teleport right there, we probably could get him. He's going to keep running, though. All right, we have Raven out. Raven's still level one. So this is going to increase my defense. I can chase them down now. And, of course, she dashes away. Well, we do have some early games. So if you get the jump early game, you're going to have pretty good advantage over uh, the team. And that's what you honestly want to do every game. Is That's basically your mission, is to get the jump out level people and just people like this this willing he's annoying so i use the ultimate there it doesn't come back unless you do a killing blow on them we got raven here again raven's only level two so i'm kind of trying to stay in we might have her oh we got shrunk that's no good all right we're gonna go back before we do get caught up again jonic's there Hopefully none of them see me. Good. All right, so we're going to jungle up a little bit. See, that does a little bit of something to both of them, it looks like. We got that extra hit in. That's nice. It does make for doing extra damage. All right, we're going to pick up some movement speed. The Chucky move a little bit faster. There's Bria. We're going to try to use this ultimate and get the killing blow. And right... Oh, we got it. And it did come back. Nice. Okay, this is uh that's that's too much 
too much early game we're, we're not looking for a 3-1 fight early game so let's go ahead and farm up some more these sound effects are awesome from Chucky and uh, I've, I've died a couple times in the other game just to see what the effects was because all of the characters have some kind of weird or mostly unique effect when they die and his is hilarious and let's see the passive is one to play gains a 20% chance when using normal attacks to receive damage from normal attacks okay so we're gonna increase that Ooh, he's called out Jonic is come here Jonic he's doing a decent amount of damage to me but we got that ultimate there and I believe it did come back. We did get the killing blow with it, but we're out of mana. We need to uh, definitely go back. So we're going to teleport back. We'll come back to the bottom, farm up some of this stuff. I'm trying to get ahead of these guys. That way we can actually see what he can do if you run off and leave everybody in a match. So basically, if you go bottom lane with a Chucky, what's it going to turn into? Oh, we missed with that. Alright, we got froze there. She froze me just to run away. Oh, we just barely missed with that. Okay. So his his abilities, they kind of stop you a little bit when you actually use them. Except for the run. And this ability here seems well missed it again. And I noticed we are running out of mana pretty quick on him too. So that may be something uh, life do. All right, instead of that mirror shield, I'm gonna go with the life do from the build. Cause that's gonna actually help out for roaming around. And that's, I think that's what he's mainly gonna be good for. All right, friendly legend killed. All right, Jonic, you cheesing on my team. I'll eat both of you alive. Fucking Chucky. All right. <laughs> Double kill. Double kill. Awesome. All right, let's get this. All right, he's coming back down, actually. That's Raven on bottom. Yeah, that life dude did help out a lot. I'm regening when I'm transitioning. I'm going to go in here and kill this stuff. Those extra hits really do help. You see it kind of stuns him a little bit right there. Is she going to use her ultimate on me? Oh, she did. Stunned me there, but it held up. Oh, Jonic up top with a double kill. Alright, we're not too much interested in the damage deflect. Uh, let's go with some more attack speed. Now, this is still technically the recommended build, but I'm just building it in different order. Willing. They have been took out of base. Got him. That was with the ultimate, so it immediately comes back. And that's going to make for a easy double kill. Now see, if I had some life still right there, maybe it's going to be good enough to where you can just constantly stay in and wreck people. But we'll have to test that out. So let's go with the uh, Abyss helmet and see how it does. Alright, it's only healing for 17 to 24, depending on how much damage I do. So I can see it scaling up. Boom! Now another thing I could see being useful in this build is possibly taking out the Phoenix Blades and using the Royal Crown, which is going to give you a 4th level ultimate. I'm going to go ahead and take this tower out. Enemy that way we can actually kind of get back up on top of these guys. They did take one of ours down, and they've been pushing hard on that top lane. I'm not sure why they're pushing so hard on it. Raven wants some more. No, she doesn't. She's going to run. All right, so we're going to stay in and just kill this guy here. That physical defense buff helps out a lot. And I can tell Chucky's probably going to be pretty fun. I can see him being one of the uh, top metas coming up soon once people start, a lot of people start getting him. So I'm going to upgrade this to keep people from running from me. And we took out Jonic. 
And I'm just going to go for Willen. We got him too. Nice. So the double kills are fairly easy to get, especially with that ability. Now it's going to take some time to get some of that life back. And that stun, I guess this has a stun built into it. It seems like it does. Because they kind of stop when you use that ability on them. It's, it's really odd. It doesn't really say it does have a stun built into it, though. And let's check this other one. It may have something to it. I mean, I see the movement speed reduction, but they're literally not going anywhere when you see that do that. See? And just boom. Got her that time before she did run away, but she still did catch me in her ultimate. Luckily, she didn't get to do any damage. Let's sneak up behind Jonic here. How you doing, buddy? All right, I'm not going to waste my teleport in again because I really don't have the mana to fight the next one that's going to come after this, which is her right here. And then we're going to pick up some more defense. Oh, we did have it. Nice. Another double kill. We have all 14 kills on this team, which doesn't surprise me with a Willen and Bria, but it's, it is a, uh, it is to be expected to be able to steamroll. But instead of killing, we're going to continue to farm up Retreat. as is with all these AI videos. I do like doing the full max level and just seeing what you can do once you get closer to end game. So we're going to farm up. Uh, let's see if we can't get these guys to retreat. I'm not sure if they're going to listen to orders. Well, he did go back, so maybe they do work. Or I just intentionally hit the button at the right time. Go ahead and finish this guy off. And looks like boss is up. Well, it is 1035. It's fire boss. Let's see how he fares against a boss. And we're going to use this. It's going to do a little bit extra damage. I don't think we can use the ultimate on him. No, you cannot. So that's really good. Just in case somebody does come in, that's a good defensive uh, thing to have. Being able to pop that ultimate still and not worry about hitting that specific NPC. So if it doesn't hit him, it's not going to hit any other NPC. All right, we're losing this back tower up here. I see Bria roaming around. And are they going for a barracks kill, really? They're really going for a bear kill. All right, so we got Willen. Uh-oh. All right, Willen's the only one left. I don't want to leave this. Willen's pushing back. We've still got minions pushing. They, okay, so I know they can't attack the tower and do much damage. All right, now it is time to go. We're going to pick up some more movement speed so we can run them down. We got two lives. We're Chucky. It's time to go. Come on, buddy. Don't run. Oh, come on. All right, Raven. Bye-bye. That ultimate is so freaking awesome. And here's the sustain. Got him with it. All right, we're going to bait Willen down a little bit so he can't run. And he's caught. He's definitely caught. Boom. That ability is awesome. The ultimate comes back so fast. And this is pretty much up, up, up. Raven's going to get away. All right. Well, that's all right. We only need three more kills. So, Jonic, you're next. He's pretty much done for. And I'm out of mana, so I'm going to have to uh, hang back a little bit and see if we can't get something else going. Willen does not need to die again, so we're going to try to force these guys back. Got him. And if I kill Will in there, that's going to be the last kill. We are level 16, so this is maxed out. 12-minute match. I see Chucky is going to be some fun playtime. That does sound really weird to say that, but it is going to be really fun. So here we go, last kill. That is awesome so guys what do you think about chucky let me know what you think about him in the comments below guys if you have any questions about him or anything want to see anything specific with him feel free to let me know any type of builds you'd like to see we're probably going to be streaming with him either today or tomorrow so don't forget guys go check me out on mob crush 
I'll leave the link in the description as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.